Hey guys, super excited to have my guest Michael here. He's an agent of Gentry's, and so this is the first time we actually have this style of him and I on the call together, likewise filming for YouTube later. So, um, you know, Michael is fairly a new flipper. Um, how long have you been flipping houses now? Uh, a little over two, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. Okay, so he's been flipping for two, two and a half years. Um, What's the story? How did you get into flipping? Yeah, so I, uh, I lived out of state for a, a few years. Um, I'm from Mesa originally and, and the East Valley. And my wife and I moved back to town, um, have a couple, had a couple kids and moved back. And I was kind of looking to work for myself. And one of my best friends, uh, Jonah, who's another uh, Gentry agent, he kind of was like, hey, I'm doing this new thing, work for myself. He had just recently left his job and he was having some success and he was like, come, come check it out, come ride along with me. So I did. And I thought, man, I think I, I think I could do this. I think I have the skill set and I think I have a lot to learn, but that's cool. I think I could do it. And uh, so, yeah, that was kind of the beginning. And and then it led to, you know, me getting connected with Gentry eventually once I got my license and. And the rest was history. Yeah. That's cool. So, so you basically had a friend that was doing it, right? Yeah. And then got you into it. Yes. Is that what I'm hearing? So, this friend, um, <clears throat> how long was he doing it before? He had only been doing it for less than a year at that point. So six months to a year. Six months. To so a he year. was fairly new as well at that point. Michael said something that you guys all need to pay attention to. He said that he went on a ride along. And so I remember like when my brother-in-law wanted to be a police officer 20 something years ago, he went on a ride along with a police officer. Uh, Michael, he, he went on a ride along with a flipper. So it's important, do, do yourself a favor. If you wanna flip a home and you haven't yet, you need to go on a ride along with someone that's flipping a house. So Absolutely. someone's car is like, it's, it's magical. It's their sacred place. And you know, what they're doing in their car, you're in your car so many hours um, and if you can talk a flipper into driving along in their yep. car, um, you need to do that because just to have one-on-one -on -one time sitting next yep. to a flipper and the experience of seeing it, I mean, that, that was, oh, yeah. you're lucky to have a friend that, 100%. that, that took you along in his car. Yep. Um, so you, so I think that's the key to success here that I just heard is, is hop in the car with someone that's flipping houses, find someone that's flipping houses and just say, can I do a ride along? Yeah, absolutely. And if you feel like you're going to be annoying, just like. Say, I'm not going to even ask questions. Yeah, I'm fly just gonna, on the wall. Yeah, just let me be on a fly on a wall, like into your space for the day. So I think that's really, really cool. So Michael's been flipping two and a half years. Where was COVID like about two and a half years? What was going on? By the time we moved back, um, we moved back in March of 21. Um, pretty much things had, had settled down from that, uh, thankfully. And I still was able to ride, you know, a little bit of the wave of, of the COVID boom housing wise in, in the Phoenix Metro, which was great because, you know, now all of us flippers uh, are experiencing a little bit of, you know, yeah. the market downturn, interest rates are higher, you know, days on market, a little longer, harder to sell homes, not as many buyers you right. know, in the market. So, so COVID wasn't a big deal, but um, I was able to land my first flip, uh, you know, fairly coincidentally, I had a lady at my church whose dad had passed away. Yeah. She had inherited his house and um, I basically just stumbled into it. It kind of fell in my lap and wow. I, I was I was in a place where I was like, yeah, let's let's try it, you know, and see if we can get proof of concept. And That's cool. That's really cool. So you were on the upswing of COVID because there's, yeah. there's kind of like this time with COVID that happened and everyone's like scared. I remember getting on a daily phone call like yep. with my friend Damon, who's in property management and we were like trying to like predict the market, like where are we going to go? I mean, we were we were scared. We didn't know what was going to happen. Then all of a sudden, like you had this huge upswing. Totally, that was just crazy, and it was good for like every flipper. Yeah, like for you to start, and I mean, it's it, it's good rookie success to start. It, it upswing, was it was rookie of, success. I agree. <laughs> up, up, upswing of COVID. So um, he said something also. He said, "Fall into my lap." We need we need to go over that because I, I'm a big believer in like. Um, like if you want something, um, you're going to be attracted to that if you put totally. energy into that. So like where was your mind frame? Like you're like, I want to do this. How, tell me about how did it fall into your lap? Yeah, like, so I was I woke up. I was waking up every day and, and going to a coffee shop, looking at the MLS, just looking at the MLS. And, and I was hanging out with my friend Jonah 
And I was asking him questions, texting him questions, calling him and starting to get connected with some other local real estate investors. And I was just kind of on the lookout for a deal, something that I thought, oh, I see value there. I see how I could add value there. And, uh, you know, we always hear that that, um, organic leads are are usually the best leads um, because, you know, the more people that have their hand in the pot or the more people mm-hmm. that have touched a lead or, or a deal, you know, the more expensive it gets, obviously. Right. Because everyone wants to make money, which is great. But um, this lead was just totally organic. It was just a lady at my my church who had heard that I was getting into real estate. And uh, she just said, hey, I, I have this house. I don't really know what to do. It needs to be updated. Yeah. You know, and I really just want, you know, this number for it. And you know, wash my hands of it. That's cool. And I felt like I could add value. It was pretty cosmetic, which I felt like at the time I didn't yeah. <laughs> have all the skills I have now with, with, uh, you know, more intense rehabs. And, uh, I just was like, I'll, let's do it. Let's like, go. I was just like, I took a risk and I was at a place where I financially felt like it was wise to do that right. calculated risk and, um, ended up, ended up turning out great. And I think I, the numbers are, are, pretty rough, but I think I, I put in about 15 to 20,000 into yeah. the rehab. And I think I made like 40 grand oh, on my wow. very first flip, which was, it that's, was life changing. That, when that, that money comes in, you're like, that's, that's real money in your bank account. You see the wire come in and you're like, it's life changing. You're <laughs> like, I don't need, I never looked back after that. So I, I know I, I tell people their goal, if they're flipping houses, they need to like be monthly making yeah. what, what a normal, like salary aged person yes. is doing like they need to be making that monthly, I right? agree. like I on agree. the flips. Like that would, that's the ultimate goal. And like 40,000, that's, yeah, it was huge. It's almost I mean, a teacher's my, way, my way. first, my first job out of college, which was, I mean, it's about 10, 10, 15 years ago now, but my first job out of college, I think I was making like 35,000 a year. Yeah, so it was so, more than my, my, my sa- yearly salary wow. at that time. So my, Michael's a brave guy. Like he, he sounds like he didn't have a job. He just woke up and went to the coffee shop and started like scouting yeah, him last night. Absolutely. For I mean, that's, that's, that's super brave. Like I tell everyone, like if you're flipping and you have a day job and you want to get into real estate, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Like don't quit your job to get into real estate full time. Like don't do that. Like this is a brave dude here. And I tell people that too, because the worst thing you could do is put yourself or your family in a situation where you couldn't you know, right. provide. And, and I have friends who, who have done, made those mistakes. You know, I've seen those mistakes. Right. Made, so, yeah. you know, my suggestion is keep your day job. You got to keep that salary and you got to, you know, that money coming in. There's so much time before your day job and after your day job. There's so much time for you to become a professional in flipping. 100%. And, and you can you can make that happen. So that's really, really cool. Um, that That's exciting. So what advice can you give yeah. the listeners? Like, they're like, oh, I have a goal. 2024, I'm going to flip a house. Like, totally. Where do they start? Like, what do they do? Yeah, I mean, I have people ask me that all the time. Okay. I mean, because people people have seen, you know, the success I've had and, and they're attracted to it, which I, I I was too, you know, when yeah. I first started. And so my, my best advice would be exactly what you're saying. Like, cash flow is the most important thing. So if you have no cash flow, then you have no ability to keep moving. Um, so keep your job, keep, keep your income and until you're at a point where you really could, um, step away. But, but actually a practic- my practical advice would be, um, get, get in touch with someone, you know, who's in real estate. If it's a real estate agent, if it's a, someone who's wholesaling, someone, who, if you know a flipper, um, you know, uh, like there's, there's people around you who are involved in some way. Maybe they work for a title company, mm-hmm. they're a lender, um, and, and start having conversations with those people, um, and I think another practical way that I tell people all the time is there's tons of content that's free on YouTube, podcasts, mm-hmm. where you could just consume. I mean, I did that. I woke up every day and would just, you know, listen to people on YouTube. Like there's a couple, Jerry Norton is a guy who's originally from Mesa, has had 20 plus years of success on, you know, flipping, wholesaling. I listen to a ton of his stuff. Um, Ryan Pineda is a guy in Vegas who I uh listen to a ton of his content early on, just learn the verbiage, learn the, learn the, learn those, uh, terms and h- how to interact in the real estate market. And the, and the third thing I would say is when you're, when you're ready to do something, when you feel like, Oh, like when that deal fell in my lap, like the only way that I could have actually made something of that is if I took action and did it. And I think like people are afraid to fail and we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be afraid to fail. We should be. We should look at uh, 
you know, every opportunity as an opportunity to fail. Because right. when we fail, we learn. When we <clears> fail, <throat> we, we are able to pick up great knowledge that then could lead to future success. And so if you talk to anybody who's had any success in real estate, I guarantee you they've had failures Yeah, because you can't be successful in this world without making mistakes and, and being able to learn from them. And I always am thinking about um, how can I take action? And one of my favorite quotes I'll share as well, which I'm trying to remember where I heard this, but it's an amazing quote. And I, was, <laughs> I think about it all the time. And, and the quote is, the cure to fear is action. The cure to fear is action. And I think I always, because I, I I have so many deals. I mean, even right now, I've got two luxury deals. I've got multiple deals in escrow. I've got, um, you know, t- always a lot of parts moving rental properties. I'm an agent. There's just a lot of pieces to the business of real estate. But when I wake up and I come to the office and I feel like I'm carrying burdens or, or I'm carrying anxiety about, about different deals or different things that are moving parts in my businesses, I always think, why am I holding this anxiety when I could make a list of things that I could go do to, to, cure, the, to cure these things and, right. and to actually you know, have a hand in making them, making them better, making them lead more to yeah. success down the line or to, to like figuring it. them out. And so I always try to keep that in mind. Like, what can I go do today? Like, if I'm worried about this deal not closing, well, how can I go work on this to, to make it yeah. close, get to the finish line or... Huh. If I'm worried about not having another deal on the line, what can I do to go find deals? Like look at the MLS. I can reach out to realtors for you know leads. I can, I can. There's so many things that I could do to um, you know find deals and, right. and and increase the pipeline. So that's awesome. Well, he he just shared like five or six like golden nuggets uh, for me. So I'm just gonna go over them just quickly and then we'll wrap it up. So uh, cash flow, you got to have the cash flow coming in. Don't quit your day job if you just want to get into real estate and flipping. So trust me, yes. no no one ever, everyone says they want to get into real estate. No one ever wants to get into real estate. <laughs> hear me. They want the benefits yes. and the blessings and the money yes. they hear from other people in real estate. Yes, no one wants exactly to take right. the action and work because real estate is it freaking is. hard. It is. Like we, w- we wake up every single morning without a day yep. job, man. Yep. So Absolutely. <laughs> um, and then the next key uh, he, he shared was ask. So uh, going along with asking yeah. would be telling. Tell everyone you're in real estate. He, yeah. he got the first deal because he told someone yep. at his church that he's in real estate and it fell into his lap. So you got to tell. You got to ask. You got to get it out the world, out 100%. to the world. Um, and then there's so much free content on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, everywhere. Of course, the Morning Mastery is the yeah. best content to to listen to. Uh, but go out there and listen to free content. Where's your headspace? Um, when you're going to bed at night, where's your headspace? Yes. When you're waking up in the, in the morning, where's your headspace? And uh, lastly, don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. Failing is is okay. Um, 100%. I learn. Yeah, you learn. If I have someone come to me like with several millions and millions of dollars with, and they're like, hey, I want to flip. I'm like, hey, that's great. You're going to lose on, on at least two deals yeah, out, out of 10. Absolutely. So if you have 10 deals you're going to flip, you're probably going to lose on two. It's, yes. just, it's just the way it is. But It's just the nature of it. At, at the end... You're, you're gonna you're gonna succeed. So if you lose on your first deal, you can't quit. That's a little scary. Yeah. But uh, so just make sure. And and lastly, uh, the cure to fear is action. I like that. And so um, so I'm just gonna ask all of us today: What are we gonna do to yes. take, take action today to further our process in our real estate careers, yep. flipping rentals, um, our own business? Um, how are we gonna make our business better? And and that's yeah. just by taking. I tell action. people all the time: Like there is nothing stopping you. From doing yeah. this, like the only thing that's stopping you is your you. mind, is your mindset. Yeah. So, like, if you want to wake up today and and what can you do today? Nothing's right. stopping you. Like, yeah. they pay. Oh, how do I get into real estate? Nothing's nah, stopping nah. you. Go, <laughs> go try it. Go, go do something. The action is the part that people miss. So, yeah, you're right. Well, cool. Um, that's uh, we've taken our 15 minutes, Michael. Uh, like I said, he's an agent, uh, a friend of mine. I appreciate you and. Yep. He's got the greatest energy when he's in the office and just gets me excited about life or flipping deals or picking up deals. And, and uh, I appreciate you. And thank you. Thank you. So you much. Uh, appreciate for, you. This is the legend right here. Uh, no. Caldwell. no, no, no. <laughs> um, thank you guys. Have a, have a great day. Go out there and make something happen.